Done. I'm done as well. Done. Oh, we did it! We did it! We did it! Yo! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, dude! Shout out to Raid Secrets, man. The footage you just watched is a result of over 72 hours straight of puzzle solving from hundreds of thousands of people inside of the Destiny community. This is Niobe Labs, an activity inside of Destiny 2 from Tuesday, January 8th at 12 p.m. Eastern, 2019. But before we go there, we must first talk about why the heck this activity garnered so much attention. Bungie tried something brand new. Something completely different from the norm, and something that could bring the Destiny community together to solve this massive puzzle for huge rewards. The added weight to this was that Bungie had just announced their split with Activision only days before this event was set to launch, a community event for players and fans of Bungie, not Activision. Niobe Labs is waiting to be discovered with a puzzle that needs solving. Once completed by a fire team, Bergugia, the final forge will be unlocked for all. Watch the best and brightest attempt the puzzle. This got the Destiny community ecstatic, and for the purposes of this video, we will focus on Reddit's Raid Secrets page, Twitch directory, and overall general community feedback. This video is also not to rip on Bungie, say the game is dumb, etc. This is focused on time piecing one of the biggest events in Destiny history. Let's begin. <laughs> Twelve PM Eastern rolls around and everyone in the community scrambles to find the place of Niobe Labs. Reddit user XK Wrecker finds what he thinks to be the spot of Niobe Labs, and well, it is. This room at the bottom of the European Dead Zone on Earth will be the home of players for the next few days as they try to break one of the most complex puzzles ever put into a video game. Everyone scrambles to this spot and begins trying to bust out the code as quick as they can to become the king of clout and to unlock the forge for all players to experience. I want to add even more context as to why the stakes were so high for this event. Aside from the forge just being unlocked, two new exotics were at stake here. The Jotun, a literal fireball toaster that could track enemies and become every Iron Banner player's favorite crutch, and Izanagi's Burden, also known as, if you if you don't have it, people on LFG won't let you raid. Finally, the conclusion to the story of Ada One, one of the most mysterious characters in the game. This context is important to bring the situation to the forefront and show why people cared enough about this to start crying in relief when it was finally beaten. So here it is. Day one has begun. Players flock to solve the first of seven puzzles, but to even start this puzzle is complex. Monitors appear up top with seemingly gibberish, but it's actually hints for people to use. To start it, players had to shoot Earth, Wind, and Fire. Of course, this is the best solution as September is the best song ever made. Then put an input of codes that are synonymous with the Black Armory Seasons lore, some visual cues, and symbols found around the forges in the game, including some secret emblems. Yes, you heard that correctly. Other forges in the game were important to unlock this forge, to use it as hints for other puzzles, etc. This has all been one giant puzzle from the beginning for this event. Finally, enter in a backward cipher two spaces from one of the starting routes from a forge and it will reveal the solution when you zoom in with a bow. Cool? Yeah, that's, uh, that's totally fine and respectable. Can't wait for the rest of Niobe Labs. So please bring your tinfoil hats to this party, because it's about to be wild. So after you do all of that, to even do Niobe Labs, one player must have Hammerhead, another must have the sniper Tatara's Gaze, and finally, someone needs the bow Spiteful Fang. The reason for this is because you can only see certain symbols based off of which weapon you have. So for example, if I use the hammerhead, I can see letters on the monitors, but if I don't use the hammerhead, I cannot see them. Keep that in mind for some future code. The sequence of codes was found by a bunch of people pretty fast off the jump. By brute force, people were just inputting random words pertaining to the quote on the monitor, but it was just shoot butterfly. That was the first one, just shoot the letters butterfly. Simple enough, right? Then after that is done, you fight some difficult enemies and poof, you're back to puzzle number two.
Now puzzle two, three, and four were easy enough. Puzzle four being my personal favorite where players literally had to spell out fly while airborne with the hammerhead. I thought that was, that was pretty cool. So major props to those rounds. And I want to put even more emphasis on how hard this puzzle is and why the emotions for this puzzle were so strong. So every time you fail to solve the puzzle, you not only die, you go back to the very, very beginning of everything. You have to start all over from puzzle number one. No rally flags, no checkpoints. Factor in all the tough enemies in between the puzzle rounds and all the hours of not getting the solution that you're looking for. It is a grind and it is intense. And to add even more, you only get about 30 seconds to solve each puzzle or poof, you start all over. Pretty dang tough. So, like I said, puzzle two, three, and four were pretty straightforward, but oh boy, here comes puzzle five. Oh, look, it's fucking nothing. Poggies. I'm gonna need more than Poggies. Can do there. Hmm, big three symbols. Well, it's three houses. Well, okay, well, it gives you each house. Well, let's stick a thumb up my ass and then my sister on boot while I shoot bamboo and then I my dad and he sucks my dick and then I shoot temple like bro we're going so far off fucking walls here bro. <laughs> I wish I could understand what's going on here everyone and trust me I tried to do some digging so if anyone has any explanation in the comments because uh yeah we we need it Puzzle number six. So after puzzle number five has finally been solved through the Raid Secrets community puzzle, number six comes along and... Tell us what to do with 18 different symbols and 20 different standing places and 25 combinations of potential solutions. Just the name of a French forest. That's all. That's it. That's all we needed. Thanks, Bungie. Yes, puzzle six was a wild ride. So... The way this one was supposed to be broken down was actually by breaking down different gemstones as a number cipher from the code on the very top left to right. Yep, you heard me. Yes, big blue gems mean three, yellow big means four, no slash pink is eight, pink shield slash is two, etc. Next, because you and everyone else immediately jump to this conclusion, you have to punch in the numbers in an A1Z26 cipher, decrypt these numbers as code, which of course comes out to say a full message in French, then when translated to English, comes out to be a large paragraph highlighting a story of the Rosy Leande forest and the adventures that took place when in all reality all we needed to care about was just the forest part. <gasps> players were screaming at streamers for hours to just shoot tree and even when the players tried that solution the hit registration wasn't working so they had the answer very early on for this one but because this unfortunate error in the code the whole extra day happened of players banging their heads on their tearfully drenched keyboards. Eventually though the solution was found. Yes. Get cozy. I and or it didn't work. <laughs> Alright, cool. Over. I'm shooting the middle one. So or I'll give you this one. So switch. There's not really a middle left in uh All right, I'm over ready. you want it though. Get on it. I'm on it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're good, we're good. Three, two, Three, two one, one. Here. Go. Just keep, Just keep going. Shooting. Just spam. Never stop. Just spam. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! There's no way! Are you guys that, fucking love me! Are people that dumb? Go. People haven't it's shot all three at the same time! After many hours spent, 80 hours into the puzzle, the solution possibilities were getting thinner. Now, just imagine how hard it must have been to get to this moment. It was about to be epic. This image explains the solution very well, and although it's still ridiculously unclear off the get-go, after many, many hours, days, and just shoot trees later, the puzzle was finally solved. So what was the reward? Well, 
We got a pretty cool ghost shell and uh, and an emblem. Oh, oh, and Bungie already released the forge before they beat it? This part will split the room for most of you viewing this right now. So I want to be as transparent as possible before giving my own opinion on the matter. So back up before puzzle 7 has been solved. Day 3 has just rolled around. The puzzle not solved to this point. Bungie makes an announcement that they will be opening the forge later that day for all players to experience without any of the teams beating it. Bungie says, while coming together as a community to solve puzzles can be fun, setting this puzzle up as a gate between you and new content that you want to play has not been an ideal experience. As such, we will be decoupling the puzzle from the final offering of the Black Armory. All annual pass owners will be able to experience the Bergugia Forge when the puzzle is solved or when the deadline expires, whichever happens first. This sent the community in one of two ways. One side was relieved since they felt like they paid for the content that Bungie should deliver on the promise of that content. On the other side, players felt robbed because they spent days staying up trying to break the secret and unlock the prize for everyone in an event that had brought the entire community together. Frustrating or not? My opinion on this is that Bungie should have let players break the final puzzle to unlock it for everyone instead of giving in to demands of others. I understand and respect why people would want it to be unlocked because hey, you paid for the content. But I am also someone who believes that developers should stick to their vision, so I, like many others, were disappointed by the opening of the forge before the final puzzle was beaten. So puzzle number 7, it is beaten. Glad, Clyde, and Krusty, with the help of Raid Secrets and other community members, streamers, and everybody alike, beat the puzzle in one of the most controversial finishes to what otherwise was a roller coaster of an event. What is the takeaway from all this? The takeaway is that this event brought the community together. This got everyone thinking way too far into some things and not far enough into others. This event to me was overall a huge success, just with a poor finale. Looking at you, Game of Thrones. So I lend the question to you, the person who's watching this. Is this something you'd like to see happen again? A puzzle event for viewers across the world to see and participate in? Or does this kind of thing not belong in the game? Anyways, I'd like to say thank you so much for viewing this video. This one took me a long time to create and I appreciate all the support that has been given to me on YouTube and on Twitch. The last video of this type is at 700,000 views at this moment, which is beyond insane and it's still like a dream to me. And this channel is about to reach 9,000 subs. So from me to you, thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh, of course. Well, just chip spell, right? Um, rip lunch, just some chip spell.